एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज शमशेर टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डू अर रेस्ट ए पी आई लोड टेस्टिंग विद जय मीटर सो लेट्स बिगिन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट द रेस्ट ए पी आई स्मॉल थिंग अबाउट द रेस्ट ए पी आई सो आई हैव अ वन स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट रेस्ट ए पी आई विच आई एम गोइंग टू यूज for demonstrate load testing using a j meter so first of all in any rest api there are four things which are most important one the first thing is the method these are the http methods which explains what kind of action we need to perform second this is the end point the end point is basically the you so the server location which provides that where exactly the server location is present third is a resource which you can see over here this is a resources resources basically provide a location where on the server where the files and these apis files are stored and the last one the fourth is a parameters so these are the parameters like if we need to find a specific response or a specific data from the server we have to provide some of the parameters that on this basis the filter the system will filter the data and provide the specific result so let's go ahead so i am going to take this is my project over here let me show so it's basically a simple rest api which provide me a data based on the available yeah, the status of pet based on the availability so you can see my method is a get my endpoint is this that means this is providing me information of the server this is my resource where i can find this api on my server and this is the parameter which i am going to provide so let's go further so let me open the jmeter so i'm going to the location where my jmeter folder is replaced so this is my jmeter folder in jmeter folder i have a bin folder in the bin there is a file called jmeter which i am going to execute it so now my jmeter is launching okay so this is a test plan basically it provide you the all the information which we are going into the jmeter so in that we are going to create a first of all we are going to create a thread users so i am going to create a thread group so in this thread group you can see that uh, there are the different parameters so basically at this point of time we focus only what needs to be used for our load testing so you can see these are number of threads basically users so let me take a users number of users are 50 you ramp up time a uh, ramp up period you can see so basically this ramp up period is used the duration between two users hitting this request to the server that means if i say zero that it it says that 50 users will send this request without a delay to the server and if i say it's a 5 second that means there is a 5 second gap between two users to sending a request so suppose one user send a request after 5 second the second user will send a request after 5 second the third user will send a request this is the loop that how many times this user is going number of these users are going to hit the request to the server so let me take the 5 and i am going to take for an example I'll ramp up period is one. I'm going to give the name for over here is a plan. This is my REST API load testing load test. This is what I'm going to give. So I have added the thread groups. You can see over here. So now I have to create a sampler. Sampler I'm going to use HTTP request because these my HTTP request which I'm going to send it. now in this i have to provide the information which is required so as we have discussed over here that my method is a get if i am executing this specific request so my method is a get so let me select the method type over here get 
my endpoint so let me put it endpoint over here i am going to give the endpoint or server name over here okay it's not copied so let's copy this first okay so some problem in copying so let me write it down manually so https so i have given my ip so ip number or you can say the server name now i have to give the path the path is basically the resources which we talk about over here so let me copy this again let's see if it's allowed no it's not allowing so let me put the v2 slash path slash find by status so this is what i have done now you can see that now i have to add the parameters because in my request i need to send a parameter so i'm clicking on this so you can you know by clicking on this you can add number of parameters which you need to send right so this is the name of the parameter which is a status the value is which i am going to give over here is available now let me uh, save it first so i'm going to save this as a sorry uh, i have to click on this and i have to save it jmx jmx is the extension for jmeter so now i have what i have done i have created a plan in plan i have given a parameters number of users which i am going to use for a load testing purpose this is the request on which service i am going to hit my request and all right so you can see there's a two thing there's a you can perform in a way that you don't require to put it what kind of the protocol we are using it you can directly use this server name over here and you can provide over here as what exactly the protocol is whether it's http or https in our case we have https so we are putting over here right so let's say let me de delete this one these one which i'm added extra i have saved it now this is what we have done to execute our load test but for seeing what exactly the results are over here we need to add the listeners so let's go to the listener so at this point of time i am adding two listeners one is a view result tree and the second one listener is my aggregate report the aggregate report right so these are the two different reports i'll talk you once i'll execute my test case over here so let's do the test case execution i click on run so i can see now yeah my test case is executed so let's go to view result so you can see number of you can see all of them are executed over here the 50 requests which i have sent it 50 users so let's see what exactly the meaning of all this so first we will see the response data so this is my entire response data if you can see over here and it's the same data which we have find out through the soap ui when we doing a functional part of this like for others you can see this is my request which i have sent it this is my http the entire you can see that the information which i have given over here this is the request now sampler results so what exactly it's saying so the most important part is over here we have to see the load time you can see in the first in my first request let's go to the first request my load time is 3759 and if i go to last one it's a 4073 so that means the load time you can see over here that you know the number of executions are increasing requests are increasing on my server my load time is increasing over here and for more specific results you go over here in average report you have to see the throughput so in that case what it's saying meaning is saying 
that for requesting for sending a request of this particular service for 50 users to the server the throughout throughput time is 12.3 per second so in that basis we can calculate the load of my any request over here in the request you can see the body size this is the body size the entire body size of my response data it is over here i can change it over here my thread group let's change to 100 and see uh, what is the result will come out so remember on the 50 users ramp up period one we have a throughput is 12.3 per second so now it's executed let's go to again so throughput is 1.1 per second now it's change see for this you can see all now if you want to delete clear your results you have to just click on this this is the clear for this one and clear for all so i have cleared it out so my everything is clear the results are clear now again i am going to execute so you can see my execution is going over here so now it's pen not pending anything so let's see 18.9 per second so in that basis we can calculate our throughput get the data and the load testing perform the load testing of any services which we have in this case so, yeah so uh, this is basically depend completely all the information which we are providing into our thread group over here or anything or which kind of a reports we required is depend on your requirement so that's for all thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and follow and for channel support subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you